Na msikilizaji jicho ni moja wapo ya kiungo muhimu cha mwili. Kazi kubwa ya jicho ni kukuwezesha kuona. Shirika la afya duniani WHO linasema takriban watu bilioni 2.2 duniani kote wanakabiliwa na matatizo ya kuona ikiwemo upofu. Tatizo hili linaelezwa ni kutokana na ukosefu wa huduma bora za afya. Ripoti hii ya maanisha ni muhimu kwa kila kituo cha afya kuweka utaratibu wa kupima macho mara kwa mara ili kukabiliana na presha ya macho ambayo inaweza kumsababishia mtu upofu wa kudumu. Vincent Kimutai alitembelea kampuni ya miwani ya Lapea iliyo na tawi mjini Nakuru na kuzungumza na wataalamu wa macho kisha kuandaa makala haya maalum yanayomulika magonjwa ya macho. Kulingana na Wizara ya Afya takriban 38% ya Wakenya wanakumbwa na matatizo ya kuona. Kufuatia changamoto hii kampuni ya miwani ya Lampea ambayo imekuwa kitoa matibabu ya macho katika mataifa manane kwa muda sasa ikiwemo Ivory Coast na Uganda. Umu nchini Kenya umetoa matibabu hayo kwa zaidi ya miaka mawili huko jijini Nairobi na hivi sasa umefungua tawi jingine mjini Nakuru. Lengo kuu likiwa kuleta huduma za matibabu ya macho karibu na wananchi ili kuzuia matatizo ya ugonjwa wa macho kwanza kabisa ufanya vipimo kisha kutoa matibabu na endapo itahitajika basi mgonjwa hupewa miwani Oliver Wambie ni afisa mkuu mawasiliano katika kampuni hii Lape glasses is revolutionizing access to eye eyewear in Africa by giving everyone the chance to see well without breaking the bank Pan African eyewear company has quickly won the hearts of Africans Lape glasses Tairas Kiheru na Mary Wanjiru ni miongoni mwa waathiriwa wa matatizo ya macho kwa muda mrefu kwa mjibu wa hao wawili changamoto ya macho inayowakabili imefanya maisha kuwa magumu kwa baba yangu tu na na na, na, na hakuchaliwa na sida hiyo ni, ni kitu inamgonga akawa na jicho moja eh wale wengine ni wasuri hali ni sawia kwa Tyrus Kieru ambaye alikatiza masomo yake akiwa kidato cha tatu na kufikia sasa amefanya upasuaji mara saba Daktari akasema tu nikimaliza nikikaa naenda nafanywa operation juu inaonekana kuna cataract na growth ingine inaenda ikikua kwa macho. Kuniuma huwa hainiumi lakini kuona dio sioni bali na kutetemeka kila wakati. Wewe siona kitu ati straight hivi hata nikikuangalia hivi siwezi kuona straight. Hata hivyo kulingana na Rosalind Kilonzo ambaye ni meneja upanuzi wa Lampea ukanda wa Afrika Mashariki ni kuwa asilimia nukta saba ya wakenya wanaoishi vijijini wanakabiliwa na matatizo ya macho pasina wao kufahamu huku asilimia mbili nukta tano wakiwa na matatizo ya macho kutokana na hali ambayo wataalamu wanaita uncorrected refractive error ambayo ni chanzo kikuu kinachosababisha upofu miongoni mwa watu wanaokungwa na matatizo ya macho ni kutokana na hali hii hasa iliyosukuma lapea kupanua kliniki zao za macho huku wakitoa uhamasisho wa matatizo ya macho ikiwemo kutoa matibabu kwa bei nafuu. And so we realized that there's a problem in the IKEA industry in that um, about about uh, half a billion people in Africa um, have um, issues with their eyes. Um, but only 1% of those people have glasses. Barani Afrika takriban watu milioni na hamsini wanakabiliwa na matatizo ya macho huku asilimia moja ya watu hao ambao ni watu milioni moja nukta tano wakitafuta matibabu sababu kuu ya watu kutotafuta matibabu ikitajwa ni kukosa uhamasisho kuhusu matatizo ya macho pamoja na bei gali ya kupokea matibabu hayo miongoni mwa zingine 550 million people in Africa have uh, refractive errors but about 1% of them have glass and why is this so um, the reason why there is that you know big number of people who uh, do not have access to eye care do not have glasses to correct their their vision issues is because first of all Um, affordability um, glasses uh, for example in Kenya uh, prescription glasses range between 15000 to about 20000 uh, and not everyone is in a position to afford that and so um, another reason is in terms of co convenience um, uh, where can they access this eye care services um, and the other problem is um, in terms of um, Um, knowledge like not very many people know where they can access these services magonjwa ya macho yanasababishwa na mihunzi ambayo inaweza kuwa ya jua runinga na hata tarakilishi inayoelezwa kusababisha macho kutofanya kazi vizuri kama kuona mbali na kuona karibu na pia kichwa kuuma 
Carlos Obeto daktari wa macho katika kampuni hii anaeleza haina ya magonjo ya macho anayosema yafai kuchukuliwa kuwa ni kawaida kwani yanaweza kusababisha upofu So for presbyopia what happen what usually happens is a person is unable to read the things that are at a closer distance so but uh, far is okay for them so myopia short sighted so things that are closer they are clear distance uh, things that are at distance are clear hapa karibu is problematic the same the opposite to hyperopia so factors that cause uh, those refractive errors apart from congenital abnormalities basically congenital abnormalities are you are born with them so there is uh, something called shorter eyeball or longer eyeball the length of the eyeball so if your eyeball is short the image is formed behind in the eye there is something called the retina where image is formed so if you have a shorter eyeball the image is formed behind the retina so you will have a hyperopia muasho ni moja wapo ya dalili za macho kuuma kutokuwa na machozi kuogopa mwanga jicho kuwa jekundu miongoni mwa zingine hata hivyo kampuni hii ya miwani ya lapea glasses inawashauri wale wote walio na dalili hizo kuepuka kununua miwani au kununua dawa kabla ya kuonana na wataalamu wa macho au kutembelea kliniki za macho zinazotambulika hili kupata ushauri kupimwa na kuelewa fika tatizo walilonalo refractive errors can be corrected with a the contact lenses the glasses the surgery that can correct uh, the refractive errors so in a nutshell uh, there are a couple of refractive errors that can cause poor vision or blurred vision madaktari wa macho wanasema kwamba takriban 90% ya wakenya wanakabiliwa na matatizo ya macho huku wengi wakiathiriwa na tatizo la kutoona mbali idadi ya wanaoathiriwa na matatizo ya macho inazidi kuongezeka huku mazingira ya nyumbani na kazini yakidaiwa kuchangia pakubwa katika ongezeko hilo madaktari sasa wanashauri wa Kenya kufanya mazoezi yanayojumuisha macho na kuepuka kutazama tarakilishi kwa muda mrefu ili kulinda macho kulingana na shirika la afya ulimwenguni WHO Nasisitiza kuwa magonjwa yote ya macho yanatibika hasa mgonjwa anapofika hospitalini mapema kwani hatua ya ugonjwa uzingatiwa katika matibabu. Jina langu ni Vincent Kimutai kwenye makala ya Afya kaunti ya Nakuru MBCI Radio. Na mshukrani sana mwanahabari wetu Vincent Kimutai kwa makala hayo mufti kabisa kuhusiana na afya ya macho.